This video is sponsored by one of my personal favorite services, Rocket Money. More on them after the reaction, people. Citizens of the Reject Nation, we are back. The trio is back for Echo Episode 1 today. Ladies and gentlemen, if you were watching this video, maybe you already watched all five. What did you think about the series? John, how are you? I'm excited, excited, excited. Koi. He took my joke, 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 joke. I was going to do the same, 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 same. I can't see. Ah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. That's the other one. Ah. Rule of threes, ah. baby. Yes. Leave a like on this video, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. Your comedy. Also, be sure to subscribe, click the notification bell to get notified when our reaction for the next episode is up, because we're, of course, going to cover the whole series. Thank you to Prepper for helping us edit down these highlights. And a massive thank you to all who have joined us at our Patreon page, becoming super sexy rejects over there. We do full interaction watch alongs where you sync up with your own copy of said movie or show. We also cover several things exclusive with highlights from watch alongs included with this being the first episode though of the series it is made public for everyone link in the description box if you wish to do a watch along let's get into action payball that's exciting for a marvel show we'll see challenge accepted Oh, sweet. Hey, it's like the Kahori yeah. Tesseract pool. Like I thought might relate, <laughs> and everyone was like, oh, it's different in Elseworlds. And I was like, I think multiversal will play here. Oh. Wow. Looks so cosmic. Cool. Oh, whoa, this is mature. Yeah. Bodies, silhouette. Damn, that's beautiful. It's like annihilation. Whew. People of the hollow earth. That's cool. Good. So this is why she was able to defeat Hawkeye? Yes, <laughs> all of this. <laughs> Damn it, what kind of bird is that? Symbolism. Ooh. Oh, damn. Just a bunch of colonizers rolling in above them. <laughs> that was just a giant flag being planted. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's neat. That's some cool makeup. That's a really cool effect. Shedding the clay of the earth. Almost like being dusted, but not. Ah, yeah. Whoa. And we all have clothes. The first gentle's name was Chapa. Whoa. She saved her family from their game. <laughs> cool. Are they completely redoing her origin? That's the story of the first Chanta people. Cool. <laughs> oh, imagine yourself through there. No, we're cousins. No, exposition. Ran straight into the uh, Red River. Barrage. <laughs> 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 oh, that... Uh... Oh, Dad's back. <laughs> I think you're pages. <laughs> I don't know the actresses, but these two actors I know, and they're great. Yeah, I remember thinking the casting for this was stacked. It'll be better in a few days. Oh. Where are you? I feel like I'm missing something at this bird. You quail scrub jay. Then why are you here? I, I don't know why? my birds. What? Guys, my research <laughs> is failed. Are you a of the knowledge. Audubon <sighs> Society? It's not a black cap chickadee. It's the only one I know because it was on a clock I had once. Oh. No, don't go in the storm. That's where things happen. Horrible things. Something eating you? I don't know. Ancestors whispering in your ear again? Goddamn ancestors. Why don't you ask them for something good, like a Powerball? <laughs> <laughs> the ancestors are always playing the scratchers. <laughs> Oh no! Ooh. 
Jesus Christe. That's the T-S bone to ever T-bone. So far, I am appreciating how dark and dramatic this is, and oh my god. Uh. Oh, that's how she lost her leg. Yeah. Oh, that's sad. Damn, who did the score to this? Appreciate how cinematic it is. The actual musical music itself. Yeah, it's more emotional than just like superhero score. I found out who cut the brakes. They're taken care of. Oh, you think that makes me feel better? That another family is now destroyed? It makes me feel better. Wow. I told her those Lopez boys are no good. Thugs. Criminals. No, no, uh. You took her from us. You. All right, I think it's time to go. No, it's time for him to go before someone else gets hurt. Before someone buys a tracksuit. Henry got me a job. Where? New York. Isn't that far enough? No. <laughs> wow. Leave the country. Interesting. I started off like so mystical and fantastical, then it's become this like more and more grounded, focused family drama. <laughs> And watching the grievance around the supporting characters, and not really so much on Maya yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, her origin would have to. Oof. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a copyrighted image. No, Ooh, you, that guilt. You man. did not. Maya. No. Nah. Man. Can't imagine having to tell a kid that. No, I, it's not, not a big deal. Nah. <laughs> Sunday. I, I do it as a side job. Hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking <laughs> tough news to minors. <laughs> He's a veteran, too. No, they got a lot of actors who are great with solely expression of sorrow through the eyes. I go, too! Aww. No! 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 Man, they shot all this on the volume, huh? <laughs> 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 oh, it's New York. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Is this in Hawkeye? Yeah. It's like a flashback. Good call. Ask your uncle, Danny Rand. Maybe they are, but dragons live in a different world. Yeah, Shang-Chi knows. Be season three. That would make them stronger. You have to learn to jump between two worlds. Like Kahori. Interesting how having this scene in Hawkeye makes you think of, a, it's a completely different kind of context. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And he's in a trap for suit. <laughs> for someone surviving as someone who is a uh, hearing impaired. This is the Kingpin intro. School is your focus. You're going to grow up. Yeah. And have a different Life. But then having the mystical opening makes it a completely different context. <laughs> yeah, that three minutes, <laughs> yeah. very different tone of show. Uh oh. Hey, bro. At the dojo? Come on. Not at the Mojo Dojo Casa House. It's a sacred place, the Mojo Dojo Casa House. Maya. <laughs> Episode one. Ready? <laughs> Jeez, that look. Great edit. Love that. Is this exactly what happened in Hawkeye? I was in Hawkeye that one time. <laughs> but I believe this is 100% the same thing. <laughs> but as a fan of certain animes, I like going back to scenes, like letting the flashbacks really play out again. Mm -hmm. Because... Like an expanded mythology you got a taste and then it... 
Well, yeah, it's that. just like the recontextualization of just seeing it like this versus the first time you watch it. Yeah, where it's a lot lighter. <laughs> yeah, you view it in a completely different lens, even though you're watching the same exact scenes. And it gives it further dimension. But it does make it the shared universe feel richer to have Ronan in the pilot and to like expand what we do know of her. Daddy. Ooh. I still love that marking to get the David Mack art. Like the, the style of the... Yeah, the bloody handprint. Oh, there's still sister cousins. Where's Daredevil? <laughs> He's doing a walk of shame as when we I speak. When I watch She-Hulk, I want to see Daredevil. When I watch Echo, I want to see Daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. The shit? How's she going to get out of this? She's going to do some Taskmaster shit. <laughs> oh, that's, that's really cool. I man. love the sound design choice. <laughs> Damn. That was actually a really cool action visual. What's the point of that, Maya? You're I'm still trapped. It's a big, big F you. <laughs> Just wanted to make a point. If I can't have this shiny red bike, no one can. Oh, look at that music cue. Beat these guys' heads in the door. I like how the cops are just terrified and back away. We all mourn your father. I understand your rage. My father was killed also. A real piece of work. When I was 12 years old. Netflix is canon. Let me help you release this rage in a more constructive way. Let me take you to a rage room. A job. You have greatness in you. It is cool to see Vincent back. Always. Your loss. Take your pain. Make it into something useful. <laughs> this is way more the kingpin I wanted back. But you know, vacay kingpin is pretty cool too. <laughs> Trader <laughs> Joe's kingpin, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the restrained kingpin is always more terrifying than just flailing. You wanted to like build, and that was a great scene of him. To whatever. Of how New York suddenly feels like Kingpin's always been here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how it should. <laughs> it's, it's really it's like entire he should be in the shadows. <laughs> it's a tire. Yeah. And that's what the Daredevil show should be. Yeah, we got some more. Out of the camera. You're clear. Hands up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's this guy going to do? Were they going to see? She's going to have to, like, lay this dude out. Make those dudes turn around. Yep. 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 <laughs> She's cool. So many channels now have YouTube videos they can make. <laughs> Women standing up for themselves and things that they definitely go through in a day to day <laughs> scenario. But it's woke. woke. <laughs> yeah. They're trying to move in on Fisk's territories. We're going to take them out. Let's try something else. She'd be so much prettier if she smiled more. Oh, I agree. <laughs> oh, you mean that sarcastically? <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait. Who should I agree with? <laughs> I do find it interesting that no one's prepared for her deafness, even though Kingpin's like a father uncle figure. Kingpin, thanks for your loyalty. He's got people. He's busy. Whoa! Shizu oh, Christe. Oh, it's a one -er. Will it be in a hallway? Is this a will hallway? We, this is a corner. Are we getting Daredevil I feel like in episode we, uh, one? I think we would get Daredevil. I mean, based on the timeline, it would make sense to get Daredevil right now. I got two more for the meeting. What? No, no, it's cool, bro. They're expecting us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Whoa. Cool. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, hell yeah. Ooh. The guy's got his coffee oh, cool. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that was sick. The gunshots, man. Great camera work. 
Maya, do something. Oh, yeah, this is very violent. I like it a lot. Ooh, damn, nice. I love that nice she gets brought cut. in through a POV shot. <laughs> and a perfect time for a hidden cut. The way they choose to go in and out of her perspective via audio design is really interesting. And there's a slight push every time, right, when it clicks over. Oh, yeah. There was a crunch. Oh, cool. Whoa! Cool. <laughs> there, there was a grin. I like that. Focusing on the heartbeat to get the emotionality. And the calming back uh, down. Exertion, release! Exertion and release! Yes. <laughs> That's right, Maya! Gia. Yeah. Ooh, that was awesome. Chair kick is always rad. That was awesome. <laughs> Woo-hoo! Yes! Ow, the death usage just... Ugh. Thank you again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. Oh, damn. Are they using wires or did he just jump that? Nice. <laughs> 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 that was legitimate. Yeah! 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 Oh, here Let's we go, go. Murdoch. Here we go. Here we go. Oh no! Yo, it's dude. right. Yo. Ugh, damn it. No, you guys could be a couple. Oh, I love this suit. I've been watching them all night. And then you guys show up. Huh? <laughs> 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 and screwed everything up. Oh, this feels like Daredevil. <laughs> Ooh, oh god. Oh, those blocks and stuff. Great. Ooh. Ooh. The tang oh, of the oh, great hold on the kick. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, great seamless cut. This is excellent camera work and here, The use man. of the chain link fence, I think, is also choice. No, Maya, go back to Daredevil. Oh, she's coming oh, back. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus. No guns. The Matrix much more, Arsenal. Yeah, very, much more John Wickin. Oh, he is moving so <laughs> Excellent well. Excellent stunt work. And they keep pulling in on her one foot, too. Aw, they cut it. Yeah, he's way faster than that. None of my men have ever held their own with him like that. <laughs> he did better than even I expected. <laughs> It's like throwing Echo into the Daredevil King Universe world. immediately. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What you lacked was a place and a purpose. You have that now with me. Oh, and my black suit. We're family, no matter what. Thank you, Uncle. Uh, this feels so much more Netflix than the Disney Plus show. How so? <laughs> <laughs> Hawkeye more stuff. Hawkeye stuff! Dedicated all my resources into bringing your father's killer to justice. This feels like a Luke Besson movie. When you find him, he's mine. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Clint. You don't die with the same. Don't put Jeremy Renner in the snow. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, he's back acting now. It could be used, it could be manipulated. Your boss wanted your father dead. Yes, your boss. You're lying. It wasn't a typhoon. TJ's kingpin? It's interesting seeing these visuals from Hawkeye, which felt a little bit in conflict with the actual show itself, but, but they, they feel very well. Because yeah. yeah. they were the Netflix scenes <laughs> in the Disney Plus, and now this is the show. What a surprise. Yeah. Like they seem to play more sinister and menacing, even though they're the same scenes. Yeah. We're father. We're family. I wonder if they changed the sound design too on these. Interesting to compare. Mm. Ooh, yeah. Definitely finished the job. 
because of the splicing, there is some weird pace. I'm enjoying it. It's a very it's a lot. He's doing a real lot. fast. But it's, but it's paced a little funny. What's but, 30 but I'm not years in lie. one episode? I am really enjoying it. There's enough working for me here, though, that I think is really singing pretty high. I feel like the show's starting now. But it's a very, it has a very Luke based song vibe to me. I thought it was going to be more flashback spread throughout the season. I expected like Daredevil episode two and to jump around. Yeah. They're really Ooh. covering their bases. <laughs> Where's your suture? Or that, or that works. Terminator's going to appear. <laughs> your clothes and your boots. I need them. There's a 53 on that truck there. Is that an Easter egg? I was thinking of every issue that <laughs> might really do it. I couldn't think of one. <laughs> Uh -oh. All the blood on the motorcycle. Going home to see family. Whoa! That was a super clean cut. Neat I love cut. that. Good match. So far, this is shot so uniquely. Do not fall asleep on your bike. Oh, there's a also incredible in-camera stunt work. <laughs> Top yeah. to bottom, like yeah. I vehicle. Felt, has there been any CGI? I can't, I can't think no, of any I haven't CGI. Swung the good uh, ones, the you know, other than the very beginning. I just need to go play for a little while. Don't we all? Yeah. So busy with the grind, you've forgotten how to play and have fun. The grind being murder. Murder. <laughs> Crime. <laughs> How can you floss if you can't hear? What? Do you listen to your teeth? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta hear them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that I heard. That was a crunchy. Yeah. There. Feels alien. A bit. It feels like Prometheus with the engineers. Yeah. I care more about her in the last 40 minutes than I did in the whole Hawkeye show. They've done a really good job reestablishing. It's weird because I care more about Hawkeye in the last 40 minutes. Than <laughs> and Matt Murdock, of course. <laughs> I mean, it might just be the people who live here whose home you live in. <laughs> no. Don't shoot Never your cousin. No, no, they're dead. Still might be. My grandma finds out so much squat in here, there's going to be hell to pay. What? <laughs> Maya? It's me, Biscuits. Biscuits? <laughs> hey. That's... That's... Billy Jack. Nice name. He looks like a Billy Jack. Never been to Oklahoma, but these feel like people not from California, and I really like it. Yep. They're so calm. <laughs> they, they don't feel like actors. <laughs> I wish I knew you were coming for for a conference and the, and some in and out. But what if Grandma sees you sleeping on the couch? It's a ghost. Immediately like this guy. Well cast. He's got secret fighting skills. He's got John vibes. My <laughs> Lopez is back. <laughs> 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 Everybody needs a Foggy Nelson, and they got a good one. Iron Rings. Yes. Black Crow. There's so many names I'm trying to catch. Down. There's a lot down. of really Tama. cool, like, center framing symmetry they do with a lot of these shots and some cool focus lenses. I wonder if this is a real town or, ba or you know, like a place with a real level of this indigenous is the volume heritage. Job. It's the volume. It's all the volume. Oh, yeah. These people are the volume. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those are those AI extras they keep telling me about. <laughs> Where's Daredevil? <laughs> He's in the ambulance. Sneak preview the next five yeah. episodes. He'll pop out. Bonnie? Oh, Bonnie? Bonnie! Bonnie! Yeah, skate life. Black. Man, there Pro are so many tracks. Life. So many music tracks. Oh, my God. I need a Saturn's <laughs> ring disco ball. <laughs> Make a Mara skate again. Oh, it's not Kyle Gellner. <laughs> he should get in the Marvel Universe. He should. I have a headache. It's that guy. He was on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. You ain't from here, but you look familiar. How come? Mystery is your thing, is it? <laughs> this guy's a combination of Evan Peters and Boyd Holbrook. 
Yeah. Oh, great <laughs> call. call. <laughs> Evan Holbrook's doing good work. This dude's a good <laughs> actor. So what's it going to be? <laughs> well, if you ain't here to skate, he ain't available. Seven bucks to skate, or it's five bucks to watch. Or you can go ahead and spend that five dollars on a Butterfinger Blizzard. Five bucks to watch. Voyeur skate. Evan Holbrook is really good at playing, like, detached sociopathic characters, so I'm curious as to who this guy turns out to be. Yeah, I, I worry for his safety, inevitably. We knew we couldn't trust you, Evan Holbrook. Damn you, dude. The King Killer? The King Killer. This information made it all the way to Oklahoma? Probably because they were I like, I mean, that Schumacher same criminal home. underbelly. Really? It reached, didn't it? Like that, that team of people? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, her, her pappy had shit going on out here. Mm. Took it out there, so. He's all right. The pain in my ass, but he's worked for me. A painus in the anus. So they finally caught up to you. Oh, it's like her dad's tattoo. Mm. Bullet or blade. What are we working with here? <laughs> what a cut. I'm a big <laughs> fan well, of the transition. Keep the canola from slipping out of your carotid during the sanguination, but uh, I don't think we're embalming you today. Fortune's <laughs> <laughs> always a good day. A full service I love how this guy mission. moves. I like the accent of his speech with yeah. him. Like, I love how he talks. Oh. Dental floss. Ooh. Nice. Take a deep breath. That looks infected. Uh oh. She's safe. Is she with this telescope up here? If she finds out you were here and you didn't see her, you. Will break her heart. Your sisters. Yeah, there is a firmness in the way she talks. <laughs> Fisk. That's an Easter egg. That's why they know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, but to what? What does that, that mean? Feast? <laughs> Fe fizz. No, they spelled fist wrong. All right, we got to explain the ending video coming up. I figured you needed more from me than stitches. Here's ten guns. How far is Oklahoma from New York? I won't bring a war here to the people I love. No, oh, why are you doing this? Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Queen Pitten. Crime Mommy. Does she become the Queen of Crime? No, I mean, she ends up bringing Daredevil quite a bit. Dude, man, her drips too. That fishnet leather jacket combo. No, there's there's an element of like, is she working for her own needs when helping Daredevil out? And that that's something I think they could do. I don't know how far they'll go though. Look at that countryside. At the end of the episode. I was can't even wake it up. Hey, I was like, I hope not. <laughs> yeah. Actually, <laughs> nice. Oh, <laughs> it does it does move in like those grungier. <laughs> like the Daredevil movie from the 2000s. It moves in yeah. like that. It's, it's moving like, quick. That moves in that kind of like aggressive, dark, fast paced. It could yeah. have been six episodes and breathed a little. Oh, look at that. Like that, that gritty. Oh, whoa. 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 We don't even watch a preview. No, we got them all day and date. Yeah, man. Yes. Gosh. <laughs> it's coming soon on five minutes from Don't now. Don't click off this episode. <laughs> Watch the next one. Thank you to Rocket Money for sponsoring this video, a brand that I am happy to be partnered with, thrilled to. It's fortunately one that I have been using for quite a while now prior to ever agreeing to a partnership with them. I was like, that makes for the best kind of synergy promotion because I can actually talk about them from my heart here. Reason being, like many of you guys, have, like for years, I am constantly downloading all kinds of financial apps that I keep forgetting to use or I don't really find quite as beneficial. Rocket Money has been 
the one, the only one. I'm not just saying it. it is the only one that I have been able to consistently use, rely on, that has been an absolute game changer for me. On a very personal note, running Real Rejects is an absolute privilege. However, you know, like I stress out about taxes and it's the beginning of the year and I'm like, I'm trying to be smarter and get it all done done now. I already started like a couple months ago getting things in order. Managing real rejects finances while managing my own personal finances has been an ongoing struggle. And I'm very big on like efficiency and being organized, but clearly it wasn't as good enough as I uh, thought I had been. So before Rocket Money came into my life, I was drowning in subscriptions and struggling to keep track of my expenses. And as I really wanted to like get everything in order, Rocket Money came at the right time for me. I was overwhelmed with subscriptions. I didn't even know I had or had still been subscribed to. I mean, do you ever wonder how many subscriptions you actually pay for? Have you ever taken the time to really do it? It could be a little daunting. Rocket Money helped me see what I was missing. And best part, they even canceled those subscriptions for me with just a simple tap. So with Rocket Money, you can have all your subscriptions in one place, making it easy to cancel anything unnecessary without the hassle of dealing with customer service. My, yeah, it's so annoying. Plus, they'll work on getting you refunds and negotiate lower bills, saving you up to 20%. You just snap a pick of your bill and let Rocket Money take care of the rest. Let me just summarize for you really quick what they are. They're a personal finance app that finds and cancels unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills. With over 5 million users and over $500 million in canceled subscriptions, they've already saved members an average of $720 a year. They've helped save me a little bit more than that. Don't waste your hard-earned money on unused subscriptions. Cancel them today at rocketmoney.com slash rejects. That's rocketmoney.com slash rejects. If you've heard other people talk about them, well, use our rocketmoney.com slash rejects because if you use that promo code rejects you unlock special benefits and yes using them is also a great way to support the channel same time it's just a great way to support your bank account because i cannot stress enough just how much this app has changed the game for me take control of your finances with rocket money and enjoy financial peace of mind well uh, let's talk about episode one even though you guys will just watch episode two there's there's four more out no we don't we're all that way Mm. Let's talk about this for 40 yeah, minutes, guys. For. Let's talk about 40 more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we can just keep it short. Uh, right now, I mean, because it is a binge show, I don't feel it's proper to, like, I've, I've adjusted to the way times have changed that we should just kind of watch the rest before, obviously, before making a final assessment. In terms of a pilot episode, I think it was really good. It's a good, so strong start. Um I, do, I am kind of craving a, a bit of a change of specific pacing. I understand that we have to get a lot of setup out of the way. Uh, you know, and you're also got to tie it into like, hey, how does it connect to the Hawkeye stuff? Because you were cutting prior to the Hawkeye events, interweaving into the Hawkeye events. And then now we got to go post the Hawkeye events. So you're essentially doing Better Call Saul, but in one episode. <laughs> and uh, so far, though, I mean, for positives for me, I really love uh, the, the composition of the shots. I think there's a lot of this really intriguing symmetry they have with all their angles. I think like the big talk of this will probably be the Daredevil fight. Be, and I, which I actually really respected the handling of that because they first get you invested into the action scene before Daredevil ever shows. <laughs> Homeboy, you could learn to hide and yawn a lot better, John. I don't so, know what you're talking about. So wow. powerful. That was what so good. A, that was, what a I didn't terrible. even open my mouth. Strong. You can't prove that I ever did anything with my breath. <laughs> I was just shocked. I'm so glad by you how good your point. That. See that? Oh, I was shocked by how good your point was. I was like, you guys don't I can't use a say lot of TikTok, about it, but if know? there's wow. a TikTok clip out from this episode, what it's that a moment. Weak that was hiding. just woo. Matt, you cannot mask a Man. yawn any worse just, than that. You know, you just Jump open your mouth and Banshee. I start falling He's asleep. He's out here just Damn. taking a big old gas. You just I'm a boring guy. Dude, you're really you're just watching this show. Guy. Wow. Wow. Are we watching this at like 11 in the morning? What's happening yeah, right now? You never know. Guys, all drop to midnight. Keep a jaw up. Anyway, <laughs> the segue into the the segue into that was to getting you invested into the action and the visual, like literally a sensory experience, and 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 Hawkeye and uh, Hawkeye and Echo fighting first, and then Daredevil shows up. Yes. <laughs> Prior to let's get invested in Daredevil first being here, and and so it was smart for the placement of it and this like some really smart way of how they're kind of separate itself from the voice of Hawkeye and then now putting her in the voice of the Netflix Daredevil shows. Yeah. It's like mainly there, but like those shows were paced 
better, but granted, this is sort of a reintroduction. So I'm waiting to see how this all plays out, but loving the casting. And uh, was, uh, so far, I've, I, I really enjoyed the first episode. Uh, I think action looks and um, Maya Lopez. Uh, with the who, Who's the actress? John. Is you would know. Lockwood Cox is her name. John I think. would know. And John delivered. <laughs> and yeah, I think what I'm waiting for on there, it, 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 it's, a ta- it's, a ha- it's a tall order to ask because you, it's all going to be reliant primarily on body language and expression to get really invested into her. And I like the choices of like how they will use uh, sound design to kind of get you into what's going on internally with her beyond just speaking in sign language and just expressions <laughs> that she <laughs> has. Like It's kind of a neat way to get you into her perspective and her heart, yeah. uh, which I thought was really smart. Uh, but I, I am still going, all right, well, it is her show still, and I'm going to need to really get invested in her, like her, but, you know, it's still a journey. So, so this first episode, those are my quick three-minute thoughts. <laughs> Who wants to go next? Who wants to go oh, next? Oh, oh, pick me, pick me, pick me, <laughs> yeah. pick me, teacher. Uh, I, I like this a lot, and I agree <laughs> with most of what you said, so I'm not going to, you know, ramble. Uh, I have one main concern, which is kind of interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm curious to see how this will play out across five episodes, because in, in one breath, the pace of this episode, I thought they made it work. It moves real fast. It's splicing in a bunch of stuff from the past, and it could have felt like it was edited in a blender, and I didn't feel like that. However, I feel like when you're in the newer scenes in the past, where you're dealing with her family and stuff like that, the way this episode is paced made me worry for future episodes, basically not taking much time for that. Like when they're on top of the big uh, tower thing and they're looking down on Bonnie, like that was like a scene between those two characters and you got the sense for, you know, their kind of back and forth rapport. And like that was not the most breathable scene, but it was a breathable scene. And I liked that flavor. And I think if you really want to sell us on all the stuff that they're doing, I just hope that they will take the time appropriately, much like the Daredevil show on Netflix would have done to, yeah, just uh, appropriately revel in these character beats so that we care that much more. But like I said, from here, I already cared more about Maya and her various Mm. relationships and her journey thus far more than in Hawkeye. And I liked her in Hawkeye. I thought she was a cool addition but it was sort of like this other thing happening on the side of that show so yeah like this had all the punch and all the mood and all the atmosphere and all the look that you want and now i just hope that it it breathes a little bit i feel like not that it's a great one-to-one comparison but like zon mcclannan's on uh he's great on reservation dogs and that show really lets you live in what this town looks like it could be which is like you know a, a strong populated indigenous sort of area or town not that this is necessarily on a reservation but you know like that stuff i feel like that's part of what you want to steep yourself in when you're getting to know this person's story and especially with these teases of you know the birth of the choctaw people and this this fantasy you know i hope they can proportionately balance all that stuff out because i like that you have this prospect of something cosmic and something you know mystical at the beginning, which is appropriate for folklore and, and that side of things. And it doesn't clash too hard or contrast too, you know, uh, dissonantly with, you know, the gritty, rough and tumble, like super tangible, very real kind of style they're going with. So I'm, I'm curious to see how they blend those moving forward. But a strong start by my metric. Yeah. Yeah, I like it more than Iron Fist season one, uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. and that's a little clear of that bar. That all right, all right, Corey. Now keep in mind, we also did not talk about Kingpin. Nope, we didn't. About two. So to me, <laughs> this feels like the Marvel Knights imprint of comic books, which I'm hoping is what they do with the Searchlight. Obviously, uh, I think sorry, Spotlight. I think Spotlight's going to be Corey. more uh, yeah, Spotlight. Spotlight. I apologize. Spotlight is going to be more than just dark characters. I assume it's going to be able to highlight other characters, and uh, you know, it is distracting. It is distracting. I immediately felt the pull. Yeah, no, I, uh, Greg's tired, guys. Uh, but the spotlight, I don't think, is just going to be dark characters, but I do think, like, Marvel Lights, Marvel Knights, it does allow you to have an imprint, have a different feel. And the feel of Kingpin doesn't quite fully feel like Netflix to me, but it definitely feels closer to Netflix than Hawkeye. And I feel like you have a really unique opportunity here to have characters like Echo, like Daredevil, like Ghost Rider, like Blade. You have these characters that belong in the dark 
And I would love if they take more opportunities for things like this. My biggest concern is that it is five episodes. It is getting kind of dropped unceremoniously quickly. Uh, I hope that with Hulu airing it, it will get a little bit more prestige because Hulu does have really good content that is darker. I'm hoping an audience that loves that stuff finds this and it kind of brings them into the fold and that it gets enough numbers to show that audiences want this darker content. Uh, I do think that the Kingpin was able to retroactively make those scenes in Hawkeye work. I do think that Vincent D'Onofrio is incredible when he's like this, you know, those little like cars you pull back and you wait to launch them. Yes. I always feel like Kingpin is the car like right here. <laughs> sure. I feel like Kingpin's always like poised. And I think my issue with Hawkeye was we spent three oh. years of, of like him like this with occasional lashing out and launching. And Hawkeye was just like, it was like a hot wheel. I don't want a hot wheel. I want a poised Viper. And I really feel like here we got the Viper and I want more of that pacing that I do worry that with a, a five episode run, it will have to be so feverish, but I really enjoyed this more than I expected. Um, two parallels for me that I didn't expect to jump into my mind. I really enjoy Dominique Thorne in Wakanda forever because I love Ironheart and I think she's a good Ironheart, but I did feel like that scene, some of those scenes at times felt like they, they got added. I think they always intended to use her. She did screen tests with Chadwick Boseman before we lost him, but it felt like they added a couple more scenes in order to be like, we got a series coming. I felt similarly towards the character in Hawkeye where I imagine she was always going to be in it. But I think once they decided to make a spinoff, there was more. And I, I felt like it was a detriment to both things. Hawkeye felt like it was trying to do too much and it didn't feel focused. And then I also felt like I didn't connect to her. I feel so connected to her because of how they introduced Daredevil back in because they made us familiar because they had the Ronin scene. But I'm afraid unless they give us some time with just her, it will feel like they're doing too much. And then the other thing it reminded me of is, do you remember the scenes in the Whedon cut that were Snyder? And it was like, what's happening? And then yes. you go back to Whedon and this, that, that <laughs> different tone just felt odd. I thought this did a really good job of kind of like the Snyder cut keeping its truth and integrity while incorporating other elements and making you remind you what you like about the Netflix yeah. shows and what you like about those things. So True. this reminded me of like, okay, don't let Hawkeye distract you because that wasn't my cup of tea. I liked parts of it, but it did feel like I was doing too much. This feels like more of that streamlined. I have a vision. I have a tone. This felt like directed. This felt like edited. Felt like it was DP. It felt like a, a, a property, not like a product. And at True. times Hawkeye felt like a product. So I really enjoy that. This feels like there's artistic merit and there's a lens that someone's shooting at through that sees a vision. Yeah, I would I would like definitely Snyder, Snyder No, all puns intended, I would 100% echo that. I have, I have one wait, because sorry. I thought you were going to wrap up the video. <laughs> Did you Thousand percent. What just happened? He I just thought you were heading into the wrap up. I started making verbally. a point. And he just goes <laughs> I uh, I want to. You had that posture of Greg's about to end I this was, video. I was, was just like, oh. no, I was transitioning. I'm enjoying post holiday, Greg John, so much. Dude, uh, I'm just gonna go. I already forgot my point, John. What were you this gonna is, say? Uh, I don't have it. I literally points. forgot this my is point. So <laughs> the vibe. I literally forgot this my is point. This early January for days. What What are you going to say? No, you were gonna say something about Kingpin. I said I don't Snyder think tone. I, was I said a lens. I said the Snyder a tone. Just say it's what like, point you were going to say. How does Kingpin know zero sign language? That's one thing that I did not get about this that I feel like would be important for how important he is to her existence and their bond and everything. He's got this friggin' translator who we've never seen before, who I guess is around just all the time. <laughs> and then none of the other people are prepared for he this high ranking person yeah. in his organization to speak sign language well, either. No, <laughs> His sign language clearly is not. Uh, I, I want to say I'm, gl I'm glad you interrupted me for this. Uh, that his sign language <laughs> is. <laughs> this is my favorite video. <laughs> sign language is. You no, know, in Hawk, they have a scene here. But he, before he gets shot, like when he speaks, he, he's clearly amateurish at it. He only knows a few words. But how has he known her so long? He's been her uncle since she was a child. And he just never he's like bothered. A secret Epstein billionaire. He's been able to like he could, have he's a such translator. A sophisticated guy. The he entire could learn. time. Uh, on the flight logs, for yeah. sure. I, no, I don't I, buy I, that. I agree. I do. <laughs> I, I, don't I, buy I that. agree. I can also see the flip where he probably just has always had it? a translator with him. Like, I don't yeah. have time to learn this. I got to kill people. <laughs> yeah. and I didn't ever look at my translator once across all the repeat words I must have said and have said to me. He picked up seven to nine <laughs> words. We saw <laughs> that's enough for <laughs> 20 odd years. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, I, yeah. I, I really liked it more than I expected, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. I, I really can't remember 
What I was talking about come back to. I was trying to vamp for a second. I was like, I maybe really, I'll tangent. I really can't recall. Artistic vision, a specific lens, a creative idea from top to bottom. Nah, Snyder I cut. Uh, yeah, what yeah, else can I talk about? I, Netflix. I said something to echo that. So maybe, I don't know. Yeah, like it, it doesn't feel like. Yeah, no, it doesn't feel like the Disney Plus shows. It doesn't actually, feel like a product. It, it actually feels like they let the filmmakers make film, uh, yeah. which is pretty cool to see. I saw that breath come up. <laughs> I saw, this whole season, I I'm just going to watch <laughs> body language and see how this I'm interplay on. goes. I got this going. I'm ready to go. All righty. All righty, guys. Well, I'm done. Um, I'm finished. <laughs> I'm in a Daniel Day-Lewis mood lately. <laughs> Oh. Drink Drink last of the Mohicans? No, it's, no, and I love Michael Mann. Yeah, I have, I've been wanting to. Oh, you haven't seen it either? No. We should do a three way reaction. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that's Michael Mann, right? Dramatic. Yeah, the three of us should <laughs> yeah. sit for three hours and watch I, dramatic I, no, I really, I really want to watch that. Uh, uh, we can I, watch I, an off camera. I watched like a, a New Year's Day. I watched this like documentary about, on a, like one of those like 40 minute videos about Day Lay Lewis and, and, uh, like, I haven't seen Last of the Mohicans. I'm a huge Michael Mann fan. Yeah. More, I'm more Michael Mann fan than Daniel Day-Lewis, and I love Daniel Day-Lewis, but I think Michael Mann's in my top ten directors, and I think that's the only film of his I haven't seen. Mm -hmm. so I watched Ferrari. It was okay. Yeah, it's Michael Mann, though. Yeah, I love Miami Vice, though. Nobody loves Miami Vice. There's so much, like, space. Patrick, Patrick Williams Dude, loves Miami Vice. Gotta love a good mojito. Nope. And that movie uh, talking about mojitos. I couldn't even finish it. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I've never seen it. it. Oh, I've never man. seen an inch of it. Did not like it. Uh, Colin Farrell's mustache is like two mustaches in that movie. Anyway, uh, yeah. Oh, and the other thing, too, is um, ex what I liked so far about, ex like, I don't know, you know, what, honestly... Help me out here, guys. Mm. People in the comments, help my uneducated mind who tries to sound politically correct <laughs> say the right things that are respectful. Uh, when it comes to the Choctaw Nation uh, being inclusive in here, and I don't know what nation or tribes or like what the specific race of the actors that they got involved in mm. this project are, uh, what I say, what I would really respected about it, like. They start off on this mystical element, which is neat to see. However, when you are just in the present day, they're not having all these conversations, which I'm sure they will have when exploring the culture. You're just with the people. You're just with the characters. And to me, that's usually my favorite kind of representation is when you just have the actors and the characters there. And then eventually you have some of more of these like conversations, you know. And so far right now with that premiere episode, I thought was a really interesting way to do it because i don't know what all this mystical stuff i feel like i don't know if that's going to be it'll be interdispersed I, I and think, then build right? i think it, maybe it's inspired by like actual cultural stuff but there's a lot of fictional things that they're mm. probably including in there as opposed to they are adapting some very specific you know um faith or like belief. Thor playing with north norse mythology like it's a it's an in augmented a play on a yeah that's what i imagine they're doing I yeah. want, but i don't know i really i really don't know <laughs> I, I have no knowledge <laughs> so uh yeah. maybe this is real mythology is this the real creation myth yeah uh yeah. it's this real like choctaw nation um uh, faith folklore uh, and faith folklore yeah. is the word i'm looking for spirituality yeah, yeah. all righty guys well um uh i don't know if i ever found that point but i'm happy to be here anyway it doesn't matter we're at the end of the video all right well thanks for being here and uh let's watch episode two episode two let's do it Guito Galindo, Woo. welcome to your second month of shout outs yeah. here for Real Rejects. Now it's 2024, start of a new year. I'm going to fathom what your New Year's resolution is. Oh. And your New Year's resolution this year is to clip your nails a little more often. I know you. You're Italian. Those things get really long and disgusting and full of spaghetti sauce. I understand how it goes, man. <laughs> That's a Constantly spicy meatball. Plumbing and your it gets icky and you don't wash yeah. your hands and then your nails get all dirty and you're like ah forget about it. Then you give a backhand to your spouse. Yes, I get it, man. <laughs> I know how it goes. You so, build somebody some concrete shoes, get it all over your hands. Yeah, man. you know, and then you have them swim with the fishes. Ah, forget about it. So, uh, Guito Galindo, <laughs> man, I hope that, you know, cleaning your fingernails, it's a great way 
to make sure you're not leaving, you know, uh, evidence behind. Oh, yeah. And also, uh, you won't pick up any blood residue from all the dead bodies that you're hauling around and digging up shovels for. I get how it goes. Let's just make sure my racist shout out is accurate. Galindo, <laughs> uh, name origin. Yeah, Hold on a second. Could go either way. Spanish. Oh, my bad. Oh, no. Okay. Well, well then uh, I hope you're colonizing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I hope you're sending when some you're, conquistadors our way. When you're colonizing, yeah. my friend. Um, you know, you can get a lot of dirt in your hands when you're taking over land. That's true. And, and so blood and all sorts of other making things. Making sure you can make <laughs> <laughs> sure you can effectively it, 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 take the things that are, are mandated as yeah. yours that you truly right fully deserve. Yeah. Yeah, we got this shit under control. So Rita, I hope this has encouraged you to stick through for the remainder of the year. Yeah. Because clearly we care about TLC and customization when shouting people out, Happy New Year, clip your nails, they look gross.